Hello to YouTube and today I'll be showing you how to get Windows 8.1 running on your iMac OS X El Capitan. So if you look down below at the description box I have provided three links. One of the links is uTorrent. You will need this downloaded. So go ahead and click on free download for Mac. Get it installed, finish it, and drag it onto your applications and onto your desktop if you want to. Second thing you're going to want to download is VirtualBox. So you're going to want to download this VirtualBox 5.0.10 for OS X host. Go ahead and click on the AMD64. Your download should start automatically. Go ahead and uh, get it installed, finish, and drag it to your applications and onto your desktop if you want to. Uh, third thing you're going to want to download is Windows 8.1 Pro 64 bit. Um, in this case, if your iMac does not support 64 and only 32, I would recommend that you go ahead and search another torrent that does support 32. Um, in this case, mine supports 64, so I'll be doing this one. To get this downloaded, you go ahead, you go ahead and click on Get This Torrent and just leave it as it is and click Done or OK. Get it downloaded. UTorrent should up, um, pop up automatically and start download in here. You'll see it downloading. Mine's already completed, as you see. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to finish, depending on your um, internet connection. Uh, but uh, once it is done downloading and it says seeding, go ahead and click on stop. And just leave it as it is. You don't have to do anything. If you want your download to go up faster, just change the bandwidth to high. It is on normal. That's what it comes with. But uh, other than that, um, once you have got these three things downloaded, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up VirtualBox. So once you got this downloaded and installed, it should look exactly like this. Um, mine's already running Windows 8.1. Just to show you guys a glimpse that it does work. I do have it on my iMac already. Let's see, this is the Windows Internet Explorer. And it is in full screen. I'll also be showing you that how to get full screen. Um, it does work. I don't like anything. But uh, this is the Windows Start. It works pretty good, guys. If you do have the new Magic Mouse, you could do this uh, two finger swipe gesture to switch between desktops. So from Windows to OS X. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on new. We're going to name this Windows 8.1. You can name it 8.1, but in my case, I can't do two things. Two co I can't do two things at the same. So I'll be naming this Windows 8.1 Pro. You, you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. Click on Microsoft Windows. After that, you're going to go ahead and click on Windows 2003 64-bit. So exactly like this. Go ahead and click continue. You can actually move this up to 1024. Go ahead and click continue. Leave this as it is and create a virtual hard disk now. Create. Go ahead and leave it as it is. VBI. Continue. Leave it as it is. Dynamically allocated. Continue. And leave this as it is as well. You will need 20 gigabytes of storage. So if you don't have 20 gigabytes available on your iMac, I would suggest that you get an external hard drive. Go ahead and click create. Once that is created, let's go ahead and click on settings. Make sure it is highlighted. All right, once we're in settings, go ahead and click on storage. Go ahead and click on this little thing here. Add optical drive. Choose disk. Okay, so wherever you have your file downloaded from BitTorrent, like I said, Windows, um, mine's in downloads. So go ahead and click on Windows 8.1 and click open. All right, once that is open, go ahead and click on this. Click on the little disk. Click on this, Windows, and click OK. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this again. Start it up. And it should work, guys. So it does take a while to boot up, um, so I'll see you guys in a bit once you have finished booting up. Okay, so once you're on this page, go ahead and select the language that you want. Click Next, and then Install Now. 
let the setup finish. All right, now it's asking for the product key. So go ahead and go into Safari and back to the uh, torrent Pirate Bay where you got Windows 8.1 Pro. And in the description, they should have the, the uh, key. So you can't copy and paste this, it's not gonna work. So you need to write it down somewhere. Once you're finished uh, uh, done writing it down, go ahead and go back into VirtualBox and enter the key. X H Q eight M C three M C J R Q X B six W C H Y G C nine W K B and hit next. I'm sure you have written it down correctly. And go ahead and I accept the license and terms. Don't upgrade. Crucial that you don't upgrade because it's not gonna work if you do upgrade. Go ahead and custom install and just go ahead and click next after this. Leave it as it is, and now computer will restart several times this may take a while so this is actually going to take a while so once it's done downloading um i'll go ahead and get back into the video okay so once now you're on this page go ahead and enter a name for the pc i have entered jack so that's my name and click next use express settings now it's going to set up your account now it's asking for a microsoft account if you don't have one go ahead and create one and on their website and for the sake of my private information, I'm going to edit this part out. Okay, so for this part, if you want to go ahead and um, do this to protect your info, you can. I did as well. But if you don't, you can go ahead and click, I can't do this right now. Okay, so just click next. All right, setting up your account now. And now it's finalizing your settings. This is gonna take a while, so I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, so once it's done finalizing and setting up and installing all the apps, and it should have taken a while, um, this is what you're gonna get. So go ahead and click on it and enter your password. Okay, so you should be into the startup menu, and this is what it looks like. It works perfectly good, runs smoothly, and um, yeah, it looks pretty good, guys. So, in order to get to uh, full screen, click on this and go ahead and click on switch, and you can go ahead and click on this. So, it's letting you know that um, anytime you want to like get out of uh, full screen, just uh, hit command and F. If you want to return to your home screen, just hit Command and Home. Just go ahead and slit, switch, and, and then um, it's going to look something like this. So let's go ahead and get it into full screen. Go into Desktop, and then click on this folder. Okay, so once you're on this PC, just leave it like this. Go on the top, go to Devices, Insert Guest Editions, CD Image. It shouldn't take too long. All right, so it's going to be right here, CD Drive, VirtualBox Guest Editions. It should pop up, guys. Go ahead and click on that. All right, so go ahead and click on Windows Editions, AMD 64. Go ahead and click on Yes. Click on Next. Next. You uh, Don't do the Direct 3D, guys. It doesn't support it. It's, um, it'll just show up black and never boot up. So go ahead and click on install. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so you can go ahead and check on this. Always trust software for Oracle Corporation and install it. Now it shouldn't take long from here. All right, once it's done, it is gonna uh, boot up. So um, go ahead and uh, reboot now, finish. Okay, so it's restarting. All right, VirtualBox is going to open up. 
and then the Windows is going to reboot. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, this is better than um, running on boot camp where you're gonna have to reboot every time you're trying to switch softwares. Okay, so it should look like this, guys. In order to get it to look full screen, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command F and I'm gonna exit the program. So, and I am going to power off the machine. Press OK. Now I'll reopen VirtualBox. And let's go ahead and start it up again. Let's let it go ahead and boot up. This just lets you know that the um, the mouse actually does work on this version. So let me exit that out. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and hit it in full screen. Um, now you're gonna wanna go ahead and go in, into, one second guys, see your password. All right, go ahead and go back into desktop. Put it up here, just one sec. Okay, all right, go ahead and right click. Go to screen resolution. There we go. All right, so now it should look in full screen, guys. Press OK, and there you go. It's on full screen. It looks perfectly good now. Looks way better than seeing it to a small little screen. Um, but yeah, Command F, guys, to go back into a small screen or Command and H to go back into the home screen. And uh, I think that's pretty much it into the video. So um, yeah, I pretty much covered everything already. All right guys, so if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions. And uh, see you guys later. Peace.